let's talk about some tips that may help people in life. Uh, let's talk about cleaning up the language. You know, people use all kinds of words from A to Z, F-bombs and all kinds of things. But let me tell you a story. Back in the day when I was dating, um, I was not using as nice of words as I could have. But for the woman that I chose, she had high requirements as far as the language, so I had to actually clean up my language. So it was a necessary action to clean my language up to actually move to the next level, which was to have the woman of my dreams. Now, back to this. So getting rid of bad language, curse words or, or F-bombs or, or whatever the word happens to be, is not terribly difficult. It's a matter of substituting other words or blank spots for that negative energy you're putting in your language. So the real question is, why are you doing that? Are you angry? Are you trying to make a point? Or do you just not have a grasp of options that are actually right there in front of you? For example, what in the jelly sandwich are you doing? It's better what in the F-bomb you're doing. However, even if you pick some other words, it still may seem a little dorky, but it at least is something that the kids won't have to tolerate and learn because the kids learn from you. So you are the example. So if, for example, you wanted to stop cursing so much, you need to first of all realize it takes a process of slowing down and thinking about what comes out of your mouth before it comes out, before it comes out. So pausing a few seconds of and using something different to express yourself. So by substituting something in there, what in the chocolate cake is going on? You know, whatever. You can actually clean up the language. But also the next level could be just pause a second and say, what is going on? So slowing down and using your mind to think of something different, even if that something different happens to be a blank spot, uh, that can help you clean up the language, clean up what it is you're saying. Because what are you saying? Why are you saying that? I mean, are you in immediate danger or something? And this is your last grasp of breath gasp of breath where that's all you can say to just stop something from happening or something like that. Why is it necessary? But for the most part, it is not. So if you can't have that conversation with your kids, your grand, your grandmother, your mother, of course, you know, there are people who are younger and older who also use a language that's very aggressive. But by using the substitution method of uh, what in the chocolate cake is going on is better than an F-ball. Uh, what in the peanut butter sandwich is going on? It sounds dorky, but it also you can get to the point where you don't put a filler word in there. You just say, what's going on? Rather than I hate you, maybe you say, I don't love you as much right now. Rather than dropping F-bombs or, or, or I'm having some challenges right now with what it is you're saying. So just some tips, uh, life tips, that I've learned over the years to actually be able to enjoy a healthy relationship. Uh, take the time to hit the subscribe button so that I keep generating things and creating content that, that you can use, actually, and you can grow them. Uh, this is Charles Howard with the Howard Angle. It's a way you look at things. It's the angle of life, how you look at things.